Welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be talking about two strike hitting. This is kind of bouncing off of the last video which we talked about two strike pitching, but obviously the opposite side of the field. So before we get into the approach or what you're trying to do at the plate, make sure that you're practicing with challenge of the week. It's definitely the best practice for hitting in general, but especially for two strike hitting. It helps you make contact on every kind of pitch, covering every single pitch at every point in the game. If you don't know where to start, check out some of the challenge of the week videos in orange, or check out this video right here that will talk about how you should practice your hitting in general. So first of all, when you're hitting with two strikes, the new age era of thinking is that strikeouts are totally fine and you should continue to hit the way you want to hit, which means hitting for power and trying to be dangerous at the plate. So if you ascribe to that kind of hitting, just go ahead and use normal swing. You can sit on something, try to pull it, whatever you're trying to do early in the count, continue to do it on two strikes. Personally, I try to make a little bit more contact on two strikes so that I don't strike out. So these are gonna be some of my tips on how to do that. So first of all, if you're in the middle of the game already and you are striking out a bit and you wanna strike out a little bit less, go to pitcher analysis and see which pitches the pitcher is using the most on two strikes. So to do that, hit options, which is basically the start button, R1, and then on the bottom right panel, you'll get an option for pitcher analysis. We're gonna talk about how to use this pitcher analysis more in depth in a future video, but if you wanna see how I use that menu, make sure you go to one of the previous streams, especially games with you, subscriber games, and I usually talk about that at the end of a game. So check that out if you wanna see how I use that panel. But once you do check out that panel and you see what he's thrown on two strikes, you can sit on something or a location and maybe make some better contact. In general, I like to use normal swing, but for less dangerous hitters or someone I'm not comfortable with, I try to use contact swing just to put the bat on the ball, especially 0-2, or if I'm trying to work a pitcher or something like that, I'll just throw contact swing out there, try to make some contact. Some people actually hit home runs with contact swing as well. I generally don't, but I have hit a couple home runs with immortals on contact swings. So if you have immortals, you can still be dangerous with them and use a circle swing. Keep in mind that on two strikes, you need to cover the entire plate if you're trying to avoid strikeouts. That includes pitches on the plate and just off the plate as well so that you don't take a strikeout looking, which means you can't be trying to pull the ball. Now, if a pitcher is throwing maybe 10% or more fastballs in the game, then you have to cover the fastball, which means you can try to take that fastball to the opposite field gap on a line, not trying to hit it in the air or anything like that. But that allows you to cover the off-speed pitches and pull them or hit them foul. You basically want to start with the highest velocity and then adjust down to the other velocities. That's basically how people will tell you to swing in real life as well. Now, in this game, people don't throw fastballs as often as they do in real life. So, you may see that a pitcher is not throwing a fastball too much, and then you don't have to sit on it on two strikes. So just go ahead and try to hit their fastest off-speed pitch up the middle. So if they're throwing a slider, just sit on that, try to hit it up the middle. If they're throwing a splitter, hit that up the middle. You'll still be able to pull changeups and curveballs foul or down the line as well if you're trying to hit those faster off-speed pitches up the middle. There are a couple advantages that I see in being a good two-strike hitter. First of all, for your own confidence, if you do get down to two strikes, it allows you to feel more dangerous at any point in the game. So if you're trying to work two strikes for the beginning of the game and trying to get the pitcher out, you can still make good contact and you can still have good at-bats. It gives you a little bit more confidence and it really keeps the pitcher on their toes throughout the game. That kind of leads into the next part, which is if a pitcher sees you making good contact on two strikes, they have no idea where to go. For a lot of pitchers, that can be enough to rattle them to the point where they just quit the game. But when you do have that confidence on two strikes, it actually makes your early swings better because sometimes you feel like, okay, I have to swing on 0-1 because I don't want to get to 0-2 because I know I'm going to strike out. So instead of swinging at 0-1, you take a better pitch and then you find yourself with three one counts and then you get fastballs and then you crush them. So really it helps you work all the way backwards to the beginning of the at-bat. It can change how you look at the at-bat and have a better approach throughout the entire at-bat. So give it a shot, try to use the whole field, that's going to be the most important part. And also try to take a look at those pitcher results and see exactly what they've been throwing throughout the game. So I hope this helps. Leave a like and subscribe if you like the video. Let me know if you guys have any other tips for our friends in the comments, and I will see you guys soon.